Jesse, let's go! Jesse! Let's go, you're a god. Good job. 2020 Sunset League Finals here in 2021 because of the pandemic. We're here with Tahoe Sichon of uh, Fountain Valley High School, a junior league champion today. Big race for you. Took control early on and really pulled away over that last mile. How did that race go for you? Did it go as you envisioned it in pros? Um, yes, it did go as I envisioned it. I actually wanted to go like, a little faster. I wanted to do, like, go a little faster, but I'm just really happy with my race. <laughs> you mentioned that you were a second last year, correct? Yes. As a sophomore. It's been quite a while since that sophomore season for yeah. you because of the pandemic. How has, how has it been for you? How emotional not being able to do the usual thing for a long time and possibly almost looking like you might lose your season? Um, last year I was really like, I almost lost my motivation because I, I was really excited for track season as a sophomore. I had big goals, but I, instead of like not training as much as I, like not training and like giving up, I actually used that like feeling because I knew like other people would also feel the same. And I used that feeling to motivate myself to do better for this season. And like hoping, yeah, like hoping I saw the season. And I actually kept training like six days, I continued training six days a week since last March. And I did a couple of time trials over the summer, for, like just by myself. And um, I'm really glad that like I was able to overcome that feeling and use that as motivation to run this year. So Kaho, making the, you know, you mentioned at one point in time you were unsure as to, you know, yeah. you, you committed. But there was no certainty for a while there was going to be a season. Yeah. What kept you focused? What kept you motivated? Um, so from the beginning, I know, from the beginning they told us that it was just going to be two weeks. So that motivated me because I was like, oh, after these two weeks, like, maybe I'll start a season. And then uh, I kept training. And then after those two weeks, I found out that, like, oh, like, I might not have a season this year. And that's when I, like, started, like, falling down a little, like, my feelings. But I, I knew that other people would also feel the same. Like other people felt the same, and like I felt like during that time, it'd be like who has like the most, who can stay the most motivated, and who can keep going. Like even if like we don't have a season, like there's always gonna be like next year. And like I also thought like yeah, like time trials, like I could run time trials. I could do. I just realized like I could train a lot like on my own and like learn what I can do myself. And this like this past year, I've learned to like, run more like, independently. And I feel like that's like a big like during races and even practices. Like I've learned to run like as an in, like independently without having to use other people's like the pace. And I feel like that has been like a big step in my journey. It's, like, that really helped you today also because there was no yeah. one to work off of. You took control early. Yeah. If there was any other girl in the race that had visions of winning, you pretty much took those hopes away early on because you pressed that pace. What was going through your mind when you have no one else to go against in that race? What was keeping you going and pushing hard through the pain? Um, I I just thought about I just thought about like all the times that like I I've, I've actually raced like a couple times, but like the past few times I've been racing like alone. Um, not alone, but like I also had to like keep pushing myself. And I think like my past races have helped me to like run this race. Um, this race I actually got like a little nervous in the beginning because I usually like took off in like the first like half mile and like not a lot of people like stick with me but like this time like almost like to like the full mile to like the hill people like stuck with me and I was like oh like this is gonna be like this is gonna be like an epic race and I I used this like I, the reason why like I was able to keep going was because like I was able to be like oh like this is an opportunity for me to like run the best I can and like I was really grateful for like the chance to run with like people who train as hard as I do. So Fountain Valley with three in the top seven, your, your girls scored 38 points, uh, win the league championship. How special is that? I feel like that's that's really special. Like I know like the girls, they've all trained really hard this season. And I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of like all of us. And I hope you continue as okay. a team to go into like track season as well. Yeah, okay, once again, Kaho Sishan from Fountain Valley, the league champion, team and individual here at the 2020-2021 Sunset League Finals. Congratulations. Thank you.